Hello and welcome guys, welcome to CrackSuite. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how can you extract boot.img file, recovery.img file and system.img file of your Android phone without rooting. So without wasting time. So the first and easiest method to find boot.img and all those files is by downloading the stock ROM of your phone. Simply download the stock ROM of your phone and make sure you download the exact same ROM file on which version you are right now. Now I will show you some examples. This is the fastboot ROM zip file of Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. This is in zip format so simply extract it. This is the extracted folder. Simply open it. There is just one file. Now what we have to do is right click on it and click on rename and at last simply type dot zip and hit the enter button and click on yes to change its extension. Now it has become a zip file so simply extract this zip file as well. Now it's extracted. Simply open that extracted folder. Open that folder as well. Inside here you will find images folder and inside it you will find the images file like boot.img, recovery.img and system.img. Similarly this is the fastboot from zip file of Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 and I've already extracted it. Open the extracted folder and go to the images folder. Inside here you can see there is boot.img file, recovery.img file, also system.img file. So in this way you can find them on Xiaomi phone. Similarly, this is the firmware zip file of Samsung Galaxy J7. Simply extract it and open the extracted folder. So it used to be in .md5 format. We have to change its extension. Just click on rename and delete that md5 and replace it with zip. So now it is in zip format. Now simply extract this file. Now it's extracted. Simply open that extracted folder and inside here you will find the boot.img file, system.img file and recovery.img file. So this was the first and easiest method to find the boot.img, system.img and recovery.img of your Android phone. Now let's jump to our second method. On this second method, I'm going to show you by extracting the boot.img, recovery.img of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. You can also use this method to extract the images file for your phone. For this method, your phone's bootloader must be unlocked and you must have installed custom recovery on your device. I've already unlocked the bootloader and installed custom recovery on my phone. But if you don't know how to do that, then check the video in the description section. Then you have to enable the developer option and then USB debugging. For the Xiaomi phone, go to the about phone section and tap on MIUI version several times until the developer option is enabled. Then go back and go to the additional settings. Inside here you will find developer option. Just click on it and here on MI unlock status you can see the phone's bootloader is unlocked. Scroll down a little bit then you will see USB debugging, just enable it. Now I will show you the root status of this phone. For this I'm going to use this root checker application and you can see sorry the root access is not properly installed. That means the phone is not rooted. Now go to the recovery mode. You can also go to the recovery mode by long pressing the power button and volume up button together. I have installed TWRP custom recovery but you can install any other custom recovery on your phone. So here you have to copy the recovery log. For this go to the advanced then click on copy log and swipe to the right. I have installed micro SD card so the file is saved on my external SD card but in your case it may be on internal storage. Go back connect your phone to the computer with the help of data cable then let's go to the computer. Here on computer, go to the phone section, go to the micro SD card and here at last you will find recovery text file. So just copy it and paste on the desktop. Then simply open that file. Here you will find lots of things written there and what you have to do is you have to press Ctrl and F button from the keyboard. Then find section will appear. Here search for boot and click on find next. Click on find next button until you find this section boot, dev, 
forward slash block forward slash section. This is the directory of boot.img file. Here we just need one thing. We came here just to find this code after dev forward slash block forward slash which is STE51 for this phone. And remember every phone has its own unique code and you have to find that code like this. For my phone the code is STE51. We need this code to extract boot.img file later on. I will copy this code then I will exit this section. And remember, don't use this code for your phone. Your phone will have your own unique code. Here on this notepad, you can see I've written some code. Here on the first line, there are some asterisk symbol. Just delete them and paste the code that you have copied a few moments ago. And make sure there is one space gap after that code. And minimize this for now and install that ADB setup on your computer. I'll provide the link of that software in the description section. So simply right click on it and click on run as administrator. Just press Y button from the keyboard and hit enter. Press Y button again and hit enter. Press Y button again and hit the enter button. Click on next and click on finish. Now the ADB drivers are installed on our computer. Now go to the C drive and go to the ADB folder. And here press and hold the shift button from the keyboard and do right click from the mouse. Then click on open PowerShell window. Here you have to type some commands. Our first command is adb space devices. Then the list of attached devices will show. Then type another command which is adb space cell. Then hit the enter button. Now here we have to type our main commands to extract the images file. I've already written the commands on my notepad. And as you know just a few moments ago I've edited this command on my notepad. So you can copy and paste the first line but I'm gonna type it manually. So the code is dd space if equals to forward slash def forward slash block forward slash sde51 space of equals to forward slash sd card forward slash boot dot img and hit the enter button then this will say something like this records in records out and will extract boot.img file on your internal storage if you check your internal storage you will find boot.img file there you can also extract it on your computer for this first type exit exit and hit the enter button then type the second command from the notepad you can copy and paste it also but i'll type it manually so the command is adb space pool space forward slash sd card forward slash boot dot img and hit the enter button in this power cell don't know why it's not showing completed or done but it has extracted the boot dot img file inside this adb folder as you can see there is boot dot img file located so in this way you can extract boot.img file of your android phone similarly you can extract recovery.img and system.img file i will show you by extracting the recovery.img file for this right click on this adp folder while holding shift button together then click on open powershell window then this kind of interface will appear here we have to type some commands at first type adp space devices then hit the enter button then some number will shown here then type another command adb space shell then here we have to type our main command to extract the recovery.img file i will open my notepad where i have written the codes to extract boot.img file here simply erase that boot.img and replace it with recovery.img and then copy the first line then paste on powershell window and hit the enter button you can also type it manually then this will say something like this records in records out and will extract boot.img file on your internal storage you can also extract boot.img file on your computer for this first type exit exit and hit enter then from the notepad on the second line erase that boot.img and replace it with recovery.img then copy the second line and paste on power cell window and hit the enter button then exit this power cell window and inside your adb folder 
you will see recovery.img file. In this way you can extract recovery.img. And similarly, if you want to extract system.img file, you have to replace that recovery.img with system.img and repeat the same process again and you will get your system.img file. So in this way you can extract and find boot.img, recovery.img and system.img files of your android phone and your phone will be on recovery mode, simply reboot it to the system. And I hope you find this video useful and if you like this video then do like, share and comment and don't forget to subscribe to our Cracksway YouTube channel. Also hit that notification bell and thank you very much for watching this video and see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye and take care.